Hello my friends, it's going to be a reading for new love, so I want to see what's coming towards my collective who is uh, looking for new love, open to new love. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. We're going to jump right in. Okay, that one did a little flip in the air. Yes, the time has come. Interesting. We have fall full moon. So it feels like culmination of effort, completion, abundance, fulfillment, release, fruits of your labor, focus on your needs, harvest, moving on. Yes, the time has come. So the time has come for new love for you. That's why you clicked on this reading. Um, you're ready for new love. I feel like you've been working on yourself. You've turned that attention inward. And now new love is coming. You're opening yourself up to it. Um, interesting. Um, this release, it's very important that, you know, if you have someone in your energy that's kind of holding on, that you release them to the best of your ability so that you can open and make space for new. We have Crow, which is interesting because we have memories, remembering, mystery, magical power, a new event or happening um, and an omen. So maybe you see a crow and that's an omen that you're, you know, about to welcome new love into your life. For some reason, I'm seeing the movie um, How to Make an American Quilt, where she follows the crow. Um, she says, lead me to my soulmate, and she follows that crow. Um, anyway, the other thing I was hearing is there could be some past energy from someone in the past hanging on here, memories that you need to release. Um, yeah, that's what we're seeing. Um, we also have element of error. So this new person could be someone very intellectual, idealistic, communicative, curious, inventive, bright ideas, diplomatic, cold, alert, gathering information, mental acuity, acuity, clever. So they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to be. But it does feel like this is someone very good at communicating as we have the magician. So what I'm hearing is I'm hearing that, you know, you just have a little bit of releasing left to do on this past connection, perhaps, past person, um, opening your heart up, and this manifestation is coming in, and I feel like it's what you've been manifesting. So if you've been manifesting, you know, I feel like you're probably someone who's not manifesting a specific person, you're manifesting what you want in a partner. And I feel kind of like that is who this person ends up being, this new love. It's like everything you wrote down in your manifestations kind of appears right before your very eyes. Um, anyway, this person, there's a lot about um, communication with this person. So maybe their job is to, like maybe they talk for a living, maybe they're a communicator, maybe they have a job that requires, you know, a lot of, um, like book smarts. And we have seven lighthouse. Interesting. Very interesting. You could have been set to meet this person I'm hearing, and there could have been a detour. Um, something could have happened in your life or their life. Um, maybe someone from your past popped back in. Um, and there was a delay in them coming in. And that's probably why you're wondering where they are. So new love. More about communication. This person is definitely a communicator. So we do have feminine energy. So for some of you, you could be manifesting a feminine. Um, I feel like this is someone who's tapped in. Like if you're manifesting, like let's say a masculine I feel like this is a masculine who's very uh, balanced in their masculine and feminine energy. We do have new here, brand new, um, beautiful, new beginnings, brand new. St it's stressing brand new. This is someone who could also, um, interesting, this is also someone who could cause you to feel very feminine. Um you know, if this is someone very balanced in their feminine and masculine, um, this is someone who could come in very protective um, and make you feel very feminine, very protected, very nurtured, I'm hearing. Anyway, um, we have waterfall. 
Oh, as I'm talking about balancing feminine and masculine energies, we have 34. Um, Emperor, Empress, overflowing abundance, emotional release, let it go. So it feels like there's this message of you letting something go before this can come in. Um, and I always, oh, um, I always tell people, um, you know, people wonder, why isn't new love here yet? It's like, are you still attached to the past? Are you still longing for your past person? That's taking up energetic space. Um, we also have masculine energy. As I'm talking about, this is someone very balanced in their energies. It could be that you had to balance your feminine and masculine energies before this person could come in. I just read a beautiful thing. I love my present and look forward to the future. That's your affirmation. But I just read this. That's not the right book. I just read a message out of this. Um, the universe speaks. Are you listening? And one of the messages was talking about childhood wounds. We have a child here. Um, and about how when we heal our childhood wounds, we actually help open ourselves to the love that we deserve. I also read one about yin and yang. When we balance that masculine and feminine energy within us, it allows us to call in people who are a vibrational match for us. Some people who are in the same energy, people who are also balanced and mature, um, ready for commitment, things like that. So on the bottom, we have bo we have bear. So bear could be symbolic. They could be very hairy. <laughs> um, boss, CEO, judge, coach. Are you listening? Maybe you already know this person. Protective. What was I saying? They're going to protect you. Strong, large, muscular, um, rich, affluence, hairy, confirmed. Um, so they could have a lot of hair or have, you know, a lot of facial hair, lots of body hair. I don't know. <laughs> Chemistry, illumination, firefly, soul spark. So you're someone exceptional. So it's interesting because this is making me think of a card I have calling attract through glow, called attract through glow. So it feels like your light is attracting this person in. So be sure to shine that light and let go of that past energy that's holding on. Because um, you are someone exceptional and you deserve someone exceptional to be with you, is what I'm hearing. We have spring, um, new beginnings, another energy of new. Um, set goals and intentions, coming alive, growth, a surprise, increasing excitement, rejuvenate, fertile, new cycle. And spirits saying yes to new. Yes. Yes, <laughs> we have clover, luck, happy coincidence, unexpected rendezvous, um, a fling, good fortune, carefree, a reward, flirt. Anyway, for some of you, um, this is not going to be just a fling. There's no way this is just a fling. We've got dolphins here, peace, harmony, helpful, effective communication again. Um, I'm seeing like an air sign. Um, anyway, playful, humor, fun, in tune with others, on your frequency. Beautiful. Let's just look at the bottom. We've got, what do we have? We have the king of air. Um, timing within one to two weeks during the fall from September 22nd to October 21st. That's soon. And we have the lovers within four to eight weeks during the spring from May 22nd to June 21st. Another card about, um, it's another air sign. Yes, I had to make sure it was an air sign. It is an air sign. It says it right there. Um, talkative, intellectual, again. Um, so this person is very much um, a talker, a communicator, an intellectual. Maybe they're quite a logical thinker. Um, very interesting. Let's get some tarot. There's a weird noise outside. So I had originally, I had originally, I was going to get you this deck, which I just, I had actually forgotten about. So I'm going to get it for you now. But on the bottom, it says crossroads, multiple paths, turning points. So it feels, 
I'm getting this like overarching energy that for some of you, you need to choose to leave someone else in the past and really focus on manifesting this new person. I don't know why, but I'm getting the energy of, I'm seeing, this is strange. I'm seeing someone say to you, in a perfect world, where would you be in five years? And I'm telling you, who is there in five years with you? Because if it's this past person, it means you're still attached to them. And that's what you're manifesting. If you see yourself with someone else in five years, does that make sense? Um, I'm seeing someone asking you, I don't even think it's all of you. It's just some of you that if someone were to ask you right now in a perfect world, if you could have anyone you wanted in like one year's time, who would you be with? And the people who are saying new love are ready to manifest new love. The people who are hesitating, and again, I'm not, I'm not even blaming you for hesitating. I'm not judging you for hesitating. But if there's hesitation there and you can't, you don't know who's there with you, or you don't know where you'll you'll be or where you want to be, or maybe that past person keeps popping in, it means that you don't actually know what you want yet. Um, and that's what people, that's what that expression, you know, be clear in your intentions so that your guides can send it to you. Be clear in your manifestations so that they can be delivered. If there's a crossed wire there, if there's confusion there, if there's fogginess there, and you don't actually know what it is that you want long term, then how can you manifest it? Does that make sense? Um, so for those of you who, you know, I say, where do you see yourself in a year? And you're saying, I see myself with my new love on a beach. Like, I see us holding, like walking in a mall, hand in, like, I don't know. Um, but if you're not quite sure what it is that you want in a year's time, how can you manifest it? Does that make sense? Um, you have to be able to envision it. So there is this energy of making a choice here, deciding what you want so that it can be delivered to you. Again, I'm not trying to trigger you, I promise. So we have new love. Two cards about the forest, okay? So you could meet this person in a forest setting. Maybe this is symbolic of you needing to get away out of the city to ground yourself. Um, this person could be very into nature, um, because we have forest, dense canopy, nature sanctuary, forest floor. And then we have forest cabin, secluded retreat, cozy fireplace, remote getaway. So what I was hearing is you could actually be someone who, when I said, where do you see yourself in a year? And I talked about being with a new person on a beach. Maybe you saw, you know, yourself in a cabin with your new love. Maybe you saw yourself in a cabin with your old love. Um, anyway. This is a new love reading, um, but sometimes people think they want new love when they're still hanging on to that past person, if that makes sense. We also have Jim, so you could meet this person at the gym. I just heard for some of you their name could be Jim, like J-I-M, <laughs> anyway, Jimmy. Um, fitness and training, strength and endurance, gym equipment, so... You know, I could see this being multiple things. You meeting at the gym, locking eyes across the gym. Um, maybe you meet this person. Like maybe you've been thinking about um, joining a gym. This is your sign to join. <laughs> like this is your sign to join. Um, I was even seeing that this could be like, I was even seeing the example of like someone who delivers fitness equipment um, or someone who's like a personal trainer. Maybe the gym isn't even... Anyway, take it as it resonates. We have roof, overhead shelter, protective. Protective, that's what I was getting from this person. They're going to feel very protective over you. Canopy, rooftop views. And we have parking lot, parking spot, park and go, parking garage. So you could even run into this person in a parking garage. Like maybe you both go to take the same spots. Um, I'm seeing like maybe an encounter at um, like when you do underground parking and you have to go to the machine. I'm even seeing possibly an encounter at the payment machine. Um, take it as it resonates. 
we have park, nature's haven, recreational space, picnic, retreat. So maybe you're someone who's been getting an urge to go for a walk in the park. Guess what? It's because the universe is like, your soulmate's there. <laughs> um, follow those intuitive urges, you know, please follow them. The universe is trying to help you out. Even if one day, I always tell people, even if one day you, you know, you've been going back and forth about online dating, back and forth, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, and then one day, it's like your higher self just takes over and you find yourself looking up an online dating app. Follow that inspired action from your higher self. We have church, so you could be, you know, you could be, um, interesting. The zoo has come out a few times or the zoo has wanted to, so maybe the zoo is symbolic. Maybe your person is a zoologist. Um, what was I saying? Church. Maybe you join a community. Maybe you join a church. Maybe you've been feeling the urge to start going to church once a week. That's your sign that that's something is waiting for you there. Spiritual sanctuary, sacred architecture. So your person could be very in, very much into architecture for some of you. For some reason, I was seeing a movie about architecture. What is it? Is it the lake house? Lake house? Was he an architect? I believe he was an architect in that. Keanu Reeves, the lake house. What a good movie. Um, we have countryside, rural beauty, peaceful retreat, simple living. Um, so maybe, you know, you were picturing yourself at a winery with this person. Is that even what it's called? I don't know. Um, and then we have kitchen. So for some of you, you could meet this person at a restaurant in a kitchen setting, maybe this person really enjoys cooking. Maybe you have memories, you know, that you'll have cooking dinners together in a kitchen. Um, take it as it resonates. So let's get some tarot now. I'm actually going to get these cards. We have a tower on the bottom. So what needs to be released, my friend? What needs to be released? We also have the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, you could have someone in unstable hanging in your past energy that, you know, you have to cut off. Um, and again, if that's triggering you, that should be your sign that you're not over that past person and you still have healing to do, forgiveness. Maybe you're not ready to move on from them. Um, anyway, let's get new love for you. What's coming towards you? New love. What do you need to know about new love? We have the star, so you know, wish fulfillment coming in, um, whatever you, whatever you want here, you can manifest is what I'm hearing. Um, the star though, the star is a card that talks about, the star is a card that talks about detaching from letting go of someone from your past, you know, um, you could have someone in your past that is immature or younger than you that you've kind of been holding out hope for, take it as it resonates, Leave what doesn't. Um, with the Page of Swords, it feels like this person could already know about you or you could already know about this person. Um, the Page of Swords also gives me student energy. So if you, you know, if you were thinking about taking a course, you know, maybe you meet this person through that. Maybe they're a teacher. Maybe you're a teacher and they're your student. I don't mean in like an inappropriate age type of way. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. Um, it feels for some of you that this is already someone who can see you perhaps online, um, who's already watching you, who already knows about you, and perhaps you already know a little bit about them. Um, for those of you who are not resonating with that, maybe you don't even know that they're watching you. Maybe you don't even know that you've got this secret admirer. Um, but the Page of Swords is like a new fresh chapter. So you do have a fresh chapter here with someone who looks to be like very eager to learn, very eager to communicate. Um, I don't feel like this would be someone who would leave you unread. Like to me, this feels like someone who, with all this communication energy, is a very good communicator. You know, messages you back, uh, shows up when they say they're going to show up. I don't feel, like I said, I don't feel like this is someone who... <clears throat> communication. Um, I don't feel like this is someone who, 
Um, like I said, I don't feel like this is someone who wouldn't respond to you or read your message and not get back to you. Um, what is this person going to be like? King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll take it. King of Cups, someone very loving. So not only are they intellectual with a logical mind, smart, book smart, I'm hearing. There's many different ty types of smart. Can I just say that? Um, this person appears to be a little book smart. Um, but there's also love here, the King of Cups. So this is someone who's going to be very generous with you. Um, like I said, someone who's very... Um, Someone who is very protective of you. I feel like you're going to have an intuitive connection with this person. And this is someone who's going to, you know, want to be very generous with the love that they show you. Like I said, I don't think this is someone who leaves you on red. Um, this is someone who seems to want to emotionally fulfill you here. What's interesting is the Ten of Wands is on the bottom. And what I'm actually getting from this card is this is someone who is going to be quite charismatic and charming. I'm hearing like, and I don't gender, I don't gender people, but I'm hearing specifically a gentleman. I'm hearing, and it doesn't have to be gender. It's that idea of a gentleman that, you know, we all saw in movies growing up and we heard about, you know, the person who opens your door, the person who carries your stuff for you, the person who, you know, that gentlemanly energy, um, if that makes sense. Anyway, I was just looking at this, like, this is someone who would carry all your stuff, like, they'd carry all your stuff. I feel like this is someone who also has released burdens before coming into this connection. This person seems very balanced, um, so it feels like they're leaving their burdens and their baggage at the door. Um, how will you feel while you're with this person? Uh, so we have King of Wands. So you're going to feel very creatively, um, you're going to feel a lot of creative inspiration, a lot of passion, a lot of sexual chemistry. We have the Emperor. You're going to feel stable, protected. Remember I was talking about that? Um, you're going to feel very grounded, very stable. Um, there's something here about this person really, um, I don't think that you needed them to be confident, but there's something about you feeling very confident um, when this person is around you because this person seems like someone who just wants to talk and love you. And I feel like it makes you or it creates this energy of feeling very confident within you. We have the Six of Swords here. So you're going to feel like you're in calmer waters than you were before. The Six of Swords is also about, you know, moving on. Um, so I feel like when you're with this person, you're actually going to feel yourself moving away from that past energy. I'm almost wondering if you have a King of Wands in your past, like someone who was you know, maybe controlling, maybe egotistical. Um, and it feels like when you connect with this King of Cups that it, you know, I'm not saying use this person to help you move on, but it, it feels like it causes you to look back there and say, oh, that's why it all happened so that I could be here with this person in this boat in the calm waters. Um, I'm hearing, you know, feeling very supported with this energy, the emperor, like feeling like you have a partner, feeling like you have a companion. Um, and I don't know if you felt that in the past. I feel like someone in your past caused you a lot of anxiety is what's coming up in these cards. Um, so what do you need to know about meeting this person? How can you meet this person? We have six of cups, childhood healing. Okay. And we have justice. Interesting. Um, that's interesting. I'm being told to look in a completely different book. Okay, so really weird how my guides work. Um, it's like a little bit of a, a goose chase. Is that the expression? Um, I pulled justice for you, but my guides told me to look at, in this oracle deck at the justice card. 
Um, and this is for how, like what you need to know about this new love coming in. I specifically mentioned inner childhood healing. So I'm actually going to read you that message because I think it's really important. I think it's on page 14, very symbolic of temperance, balancing those divine feminine and divine masculine energies. Um, there's something here about energy. Hang on. There's something here about healing your childhood wounds will help bring this person closer to you. It will help bring this person in. I'm seeing a lot of sixes, so that's very symbolic of harmony and balance. Um, anyway, the justice card in this book that Spirit told me to look in says reflect, accept, decide, clarity, responsibility, fairness. Again, I have no idea why my guides told me to look in this book, but listen to this. I was asking, you know, what can you do to help this love come in? What what should you be doing? What do you need to know about new love? And we have justice. Sometimes our ego prevents us from seeing events clearly. It's time to detach emotionally from a relationship or a situation so that you can step back and reevaluate. Reflect upon how the relationship was working. Was it satisfying? What role did you play in its harmony or disharmony? An honest appraisal is required in order for you to gain clarity and help you better understand what might need to be done to improve it. Um, it's important to accept that your previous actions, decisions, and beliefs have led you to your current situation, whether it's pleasant or difficult. We do steer the course of our lives, although often without conscious intent. By Assessing your situation and accept, accepting responsibility for it, you're able to free yourself from the need to blame another person or destiny. There's no guilt associated with this card, only clarity and empowerment. Once you've detached yourself from and examined a relationship, a lack of relationship or other matter of the heart, you're in a better decision to decide what your next step might be. Remember that the detached card knows no ego. Decisions arrived as a result at decisions arrived at as a result of drawing this card must be fair and balanced for everyone involved. Um, so there's this energy about you revisiting your past connections and what what worked, what didn't. There's like huge energy about um, releasing a past connection here if you want new. And also releasing blame and judgment against that other person. Um, and then releasing them. Now, I just want to read you the one little blurb out of this book. The inner child. Um, Wounds of the heart don't just go away because somebody grows up into an adult. Or they don't just go away because you separate from someone. One of the best things you can do for your love life and your health and well-being is engage with your inner child to help them resolve and release those wounds. Um, it says, talking to your inner child can be deeply healing. You can uplift your whole love life by giving your little self the love, acceptance, or attention you didn't receive as a child. So you could be someone who felt like you weren't seen, heard, or loved as a child, and then you started reliving that same cycle in your romantic relationships um anyway i just wanted to mention it so that's what's coming in for look six of wands i just said six six like there's sixes everywhere six of wands is all about feeling loved and seen and appreciated and before you can believe that anyone else can love and see you and appreciate you, you have to find that within yourself is what I'm hearing. Um, Six of Wands can also point towards online. So I've seen online in the spotlight a few times um, for new love for you. Let's just see if there's anything else Spirit can tell us about new love. So we do have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune shows a turning point, especially after you do that work with releasing and that, that card justice, because she's, a, she's actually on the justice card. Look, if you see her, she has the scales here. 
Um, so Spirit's saying, do that releasing work. Maybe focus on your inner childhood wounding right now. Um, this is happening in divine timing. And I feel like that will hugely shift the course of events here and bring this in. This is, it's almost like this is Spirit's waiting to deliver this to you. Um, Wheel of Fortune energy. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, so very important message with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Queen of Pentacles is about being your own provider. It's like the Queen of Pentacles doesn't need another provider. They can provide for themselves. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, knows that everything they need comes from within. So I do feel like there's this energy of you, like, let's say, I don't... Maybe maybe part of you is looking for new love because you're wanting a partner, you're wanting a companion, you're wanting someone to take care of you. And I feel like if that's you, no judgment. Um, if that's you, spirit might be saying, well, before we give you this new love, we need you to learn the lesson that you don't need anybody else. Um, it feels like this person comes into your life when you're this queen of pentacles, which is, you know established, confident, um, again, knows that everything they need, they can provide for themselves. Um, work could also be related with the Queen of Pentacles for some of you. Take it as it resonates. And now we'll just get this one. What can spirit tell me about new love for the collective? New love. Sacrifice. This is what I mean sacrifice i'm even going to say it new love may come with sacrifices evaluate what you're willing to give up so i feel like for some of you you know you might be holding on i'm feeling like a hold on a past energy and that can that can truly stop someone new from coming in because that person is still taking up space energetically even if you're not talking to them we have closure here not all connections are meant to be except closure. Okay, let's see. Anything else? We have charisma. Loves flow to you. Radiate charisma and charm. And we have settling. Avoid settling for less than you deserve in love. And in that justice card, there was something about... Um, there was something about really thinking about that past relationship. You know, was it all the good things you thought it was when you break it down? Um, or were you were you settling? Like truly, were, were there a lot of red flags? Uh, maybe you were maybe you were settling. We have dressing up an opportunity to dress up and party fun times ahead. If you have an opportunity where there's an event um, where you need to dress up, Remember this message. We have attraction. You are attracting the right person at the right time into your life. So, you know, trusting in that, that you are attracting in someone um, who's a vibrational match for you at the right time in perfect divine timing. Anyway, that's your reading, new love. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.